Welcome to Healthier and Happier Humans, episode 34. I have a question for you. Do you want to lose weight? Do you wish you would sleep better? Do you wish you got more done in a day, that you were more productive? Do you wish you were more patient? Here's the thing. The key to accomplishing all of those things is by changing your identity to change your habits. What do I mean by this? Okay. So first of all, this is this episode is inspired by James Clear's book Auton- uh, Atomic Habits. If you haven't picked it up, I highly recommend it. Um, it is a really, really great resource for changing your habits. Um, it aligns a lot with how I personally approach coaching and my clients, um, and it's just a great, great res- resource. But anyway, here's the thing. Most people think that their current habits are the thing that's holding them back, that they're lazy, that they, you know, just don't eat healthy or they just don't work out and, you know, they don't have those good habits. So they're being held back from, you know, what they want. But the truth is it's actually their identity that's holding them back. Stay with me. And, and let me ask you, do any of these sound familiar? I'm just not a morning person. I'm always running late. I have a terrible memory. I can never remember names. I'm just always going to be a bigger size. I'm big boned. These kind of statements make your identity, okay? If you want to change your habits and your life, you need to change your identity. Why? So it starts with pride. When we have pride in an aspect of our identity, we spend way more time and energy devoted to the habits that boost up that aspect of our pride. Like for example, personal example, I get compliments on my skin all the time. I take pride in having good skin. Consequently, I spend a lot of time and money (laughs) on skincare. In fact, I like to joke if I'm getting home super late at night or maybe I've had a few drinks in me, I'm actually way more likely to wash my face before I go to bed than brush my teeth. I know it's gross, but hey, I'm being honest with you, right? But it's because I take such pride in my skin. Another example of, you know, an identity, for example, is, uh, you know, people that do CrossFit or like, people that are vegetarian or vegan, you know, they're not saying when, when you offer them like a steak, right? They're not going to say, Oh, I'm, I'm not eating veggies or I'm not eating meat right now. They're going to say, no, no, no. I'm a vegetarian or I'm a vegan. It's a part of their identity and they will do everything they can to uphold that piece of their identity. So, How do you start? How do you change things? First, think of an outcome that you want. For example, I want to lose 10 pounds. I want to lose 20 pounds. I want to lose 50 pounds. I want to lose weight, right? Okay, that's the outcome. Next, brainstorm the type of person that can get the outcome you want. So in the losing weight example, that might be a healthy person, someone who enjoys working out, someone who doesn't eat fast food. You know, instead of being a specific outcome, it is a specific type of person. Then once you decide on on that identity that you want, right, you choose small habits that give your brain evidence that you're becoming that person. And I wanna emphasize small, right? So I'm not saying, you know, let's say you choose, I wanna be someone who, who enjoys working out. And you're like, I hate working out right now. Like that's your current identity is that you hate working out, but you wanna become someone who enjoys working out. The first habit for you may be putting on your running shoes every day. Not even like working out, but like putting on your running shoes. Like that might be the first step to becoming someone who works out or becoming a runner. Um, And then you build over time. Here's the thing, to change who you are, you have to change what you do, but you need to be laser focused on the person that you want to be in order to be changing the right habits. 
So I actually walk through this process hand in hand with my clients. And if you want help changing your identity, changing your habits, becoming the person that enjoys working out, becoming someone that is healthy, that doesn't struggle with their weight, becoming someone who doesn't have to constantly think about what they're eating and their food because it comes naturally to them. Health, they're a healthy person. They come, it comes naturally to them. If that's something that you want and you want help and you want a proven process on how to do that and get there, shoot me a message. I would love to see if we're a fit to work together and if I can help you. So until we talk again, go out and keep living your healthiest and most abundant life we will talk.